The world is a vampire. Sent to drain. Secret destroyers. Hold you up to the flames. And what do I get? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. It's on the mic, Alan Thrall, Untamed Strength. Twitch stream below every night, gaming out. What I'm setting up, bro, is so you can, if you subscribe, then you can. Like a motherfucking, uh oh, uh, damn, hell, oh, uh, fuck it. Put a request for music. So you gotta be a subscriber, and then you get to play the jams that we're jamming out to as a squad. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Twitching it, bro. Am I a Twitcher now? You're a Twitcher now. I didn't know a Twitcher was a thing. I don't YouTuber? know if they say Twitcher. Twitcher, yeah, that's what I mean. I think what they say it? Twitch streamer. Oh, uh, I'm a streamer. Did you do your muscle dog warm up or not? I did. We did the whole warm up. We'll have to film it sometime. My boy, our boy, Johnny Candido, uh, just did a video on how he kind of overcame some of his back stuff. And a lot of things he said um, resonated with me, which makes me think him and I had similar type injuries. Or similar type pains. Um, for some reason, kind of like the Suzanne Summers glute warm-up feels really good on my back. And then side planks, regular planks, some lunges. Took the bar a couple times. And moving on up. I think we did 455 for triples or fives last week, so we'll try to go 475 to 495 for threes, maybe, maybe fives. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the hell makes my back more angry, the volume or intensity. So figure that out. Streamed last night. Shit was on fire. Gotta go coach later. Connor's on his way to Hollywood, so he's ditching us. Follow him on Instagram to see what the hell he's up to. Taking over goddamn Hollywood. We're going to New York December 2nd. I think I can officially announce it. So if you guys are around New York City December 2nd, I don't have a time yet, uh, but I'll be there kicking it. Probably meet and greet, maybe a seminar. I don't know how official the seminar is gonna be. Uh, a lot of things I don't do. I'm so official, all I need is a whistle. Who said that? I don't know. It's a little wheezy, bro. I fail. That's a little wheezy. Yeah, you're gonna say Frank Ocean? <laughs> I've done in like two months. Here we go. Pray for me, Polka. The jaws are size. Yeah. As I keep on playing. Look, look, fam. Look, bro. Look at them tings. So I, th I believe. There's some fancy algorithm on the YouTubes that the ad that pops up before or during these wonderful videos that you guys enjoy for free are based on what you guys are Googling. So some of you punk asses out there are Googling a hey, quick way to get my jaw strong or something weird and then you get the jazzer size or jawser size. I don't know how much a YouTube ad costs but I don't think it's cheap so props to jawser size although I think you're BS. Uh, props to you because you're making some kind of money because then you're putting money back into this company or you're just eating up your investors uh, money which is fine too by all means do you jaws or size but if I find out any of you subscribers any of the fam here bought a jaws or size I'm gonna hunt you down I'm gonna hack into your IP address and I'm gonna unsubscribe you from my own channel because I don't need any jaws or size <coughs> followers here squats bench dead maybe some stiff legs and chin ups This guy has Mike. That's me. 
you've definitely thickened up over the past few years. What's up with the thick comments? I feel like... They think you're a thick boy. Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. How much weight have you gained since 20 or 2015? 2015? Yeah. Enough inside your head. So, you guys a general idea of my weight. High school basketball, I'm talking like freshman year of high school. I was probably a very similar height to that I am now, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, and I'd say I was pretty healthy. I was obviously 14, 15. Sorry, pretty healthy, bucks 70. Um, sophomore year of high school, my off season got a little lazier. We're talking, you know, my age is 15, 16, 2005. I was probably closer to probably 280, 290. Uh, still good, still hanging on the rim, still fast. Just got a little lazy. That off season, had a good talk with my coach. Played four years varsity basketball, so I had the same coach every year. Built a really good relationship. He taught me a lot about everything from coaching to basketball to life. I'm gonna load this stupid thing. Go ahead and walk with me. Um, and so I probably, I put in the most work ever that off season. We're talking, we're talking gym for an hour, food, back to the gym for a basketball for an hour. Then I'd finish it with like 15 to uh, half an hour, either treadmill sprints or stair mill every single day. And then about twice a week, I had a strength coach at the time. We go to Sacramento State's track and we do run, uh, running drills and stairs, whatever. Uh, so then probably 5'9", fully matured, 17, 16, 17 junior year of high school. Um, it's probably my fastest, probably most athletic build I've ever been. That's probably about a buck 75. Uh, some of those pictures, if you go to my Instagram, flashback on my crossing guy, shoulders are popping, then 3D delts. That's when I was 175. I'll send it to Connor. <laughs> Flash it right here. Um, senior year of high school, probably back, back up to about buck 80. Junior college, uh, best friend passed away a couple months after uh, graduated high school. So going into junior college basketball, uh, I can make as many excuses as I want. Um, fact is, I got fat. Wasn't the best time of my life. You know, uh, it was a little rough. Choosing schools, choosing sports, going to a new world. Uh, and then my best friend passes away. So I got up to probably two, 205, uh, and I, it wasn't a good 205. Ended up quitting school, uh, quitting basketball, stayed in school, got up to a really, probably the ugliest 225 I've ever been in my life. I was lifting weights, but hardly. I wasn't playing basketball, just going to school, doing nothing. Um, and that's when the fitness journey kind of began. I was probably 19 or 20, and that's when like powerlifting was found. So started doing all the research, blah, blah, blah. Point is, I got back down to about a buck 90. Um, hung, out, hung out 190 for a couple of years as I was training people, and as I first joined Super Training Gym, 2012 or 11. Throughout Super Training journey, I kind of went up and down. Um, 2015 or 16, I walked around at a good 195. That was the leanest I've been recently. Got up to 230, chased some goals down. I uh, benched 405, weighing about 225. Pulled that 705, weighing about 220, 224. Um, and that was about a year ago, so 2016. And then now I'm probably 210 every morning. The goal is to get back down to about 200, keeping as much muscle mass as I can while still, uh, still getting to the leanest shape I've ever been. I think I'm holding the most muscle I've ever had. Besides this back injury, I think I'm the strongest I've ever had. Uh, or ever been. So we get down to 200. I think then you can call me thick. Thick, nasty boy. So I've received this question not that many times, but I'd say two times, and it's all been very recently. And then with even more recent, you've made a post about it. Talk to us about the bulldog grip on the bench. Oh yeah, I don't know much about it. Oh, uh, damn it. But so, you did it. Right, right, right. Uh, there's a guy in here, uh, uh, IG handle the barbell resistance. Yeah, he asked me about steroids. I think he was troller. <laughs> And uh, uh, he talks a lot about it. He does it, and then he has a lot of his clients do it, and he's had some of the other guys do it in here. So he it was, it was popularized by Mike Tuchere. Oh, okay, okay. He does it. And it's uh, kind of like this. No, that's oh. not it. It's more of like a fingertip thing. Oh. So you place the barbell in your hand, yeah. right, deep in the palm of your hand, and then rather than grabbing the barbell with the full grip, you just kind of put your fingers on it and you press like that. And it's supposed to keep the, your wrists 
straighter. Yeah. And then the pressure is on the heel of your palm more than if you were just grab the whole barbell. So somewhere in between a suicide grip and a real grip. Yes. It uh, prevents you. Yeah. It's when you and I've done it a few uh, a few times now. When you push your fingers into the bar, it does prevent it from like rolling back in your hands. Makes sense. Um, so. I've done yeah. a video on gripping, and I, I suggested people set up with a full grip, and I place the bar in my hand like I'm about to false grip, and then I wrap. And yeah. then the same idea is like, as much as you can get that bar sitting right here, then your wrist is less likely to get cocked back. Right. If the bar is in here, which is often for many people, from here up, then you're gonna get cocked back and things right. feel weird. Um, but couple, then, yeah, I mean, I've never tried it. A couple times I have used it, I can feel like when I'm pushing, I am am pushing with this bone. Yeah, it feels uh, good. So it does feel pretty good. I but, do that well with a dumbbell uh, yeah. because I care less, uh, you know, like you right. just chuck it. Uh, but if you get it sitting like on these like bones, it feels strong. Yeah, the only thing is with, I've never used really heavy weight with it. And so it just seems like kind yeah. of sketch, but it does feel good like that. So I, I don't know if Mike Teixeira has any- uh, Yeah, actual videos uh, on it. Yeah, videos or articles. That's or what I whatnot, talked about. Uh, he does it. Off camera, I talked about it because like, People will see my sumo deadlift and call it a hybrid lift or a semi sumo, but like they that's people seeing something, not knowing what it is, and making up a name rather than like that's a thing. Right. And so I thought maybe Bulldog's like that. Like maybe Tashir just benches that way and then people named it. Yeah. But like, no, maybe for all we know, Tashir has numbness in his fingers or you know, like <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I pull sumo the way I do because I can't get my knees out any wider. Right. And people call her Ed Cohn because he's so long and people just call it hybrid or whatever yeah. or frog stance or whatever yeah. the hell these people want to name a cliche thing yeah where fact is it's just their way of doing it right and uh, i'm second guessing myself now pretty sure it was mike to who made it yeah out. i don't know uh i think that's where he got it from all right that's that don't quote us yep. later you bitches